Hello and welcome to Box, where we unbox, review and demonstrate the latest tech. Today we have with us this Caller Master MM711 Retro Gaming Mouse. For that extra step towards building that ultimate gamer aesthetic in your setup, this retro gaming mouse from Cooler Master takes all of their best fan-made suggestions and puts them into one mouse. Both in looks and function, the MM711 delivers super smooth movement, silent clicks, and ultimate customizability to help you play your best game. Taking it out of the box, you get the mouse nestled inside with very little unnecessary packaging. Instantly, you get to see the full effect of this mouse. The design itself was the winning creation in the 2020 Cooler Master competition, and I can easily see why. The grey-white, sky-blue and burnt-orange colour combination gives off that 2000s aesthetic, combined with that inspiring honeycomb cutout pattern for an almost skeletal look that exposes the inner mechanics. Of course, you can get it in standard black if that better suits your taste but I love the character of this colour combination so much more. The cable is encased in this really flexible woven fabric that's surprisingly soft to the touch. I personally prefer the threaded cables as they are much more hard wearing and last longer over time. It also helps that it glides much better than a rubber mouse wire would. The wire has a lot of length here, generously reaching to any PC tower placed out of sight without pulling it tight. Now one of the key parts about this mouse that comes to the forefront of my mind is its weight. Now the open mesh casing creates this amazingly feather-light body weighing only 60 grams. It's more like an extension of my hand. I feel more in tune with my movements rather than me just pushing it around and trying to get it to keep up. On the bottom, Cooler Master has added these little pads called skaters designed to reduce friction. I have this faux leather desk saver here and I find it glides easily over a shiny surface. It does also glide easily over this padded desk topper too, never snagging or slowing down. Plugging it into the tower using the USB connector, you get an instant look at this RGB lighting. Its bright, solid light in the rear shines brightly through the gaps, giving it an all-around glow. I even like how it has an RGB light within the scroll wheel too, giving that extra displaced light for full coverage. Though they do look good, the lights aren't just for show. The scroll wheel light also serves as an indicator for the DPI level for quick alterations in game without needing to go into the settings menu. Alongside the usual left and right click with the scroll wheel, you get these three additional buttons on the top and side for assigning multiple functions. The click on these is practically silent, which I like to see. I've heard they've also improved this immensely over the years, making this one of the most silent mouses yet. The same goes for the right and left click too, with that nice subtle soft click sound that's hardly audible as you can hear in this demonstration. Holding the mouse in my hand is nice and comfortable despite my hands being slightly on the large side. The texture of the mouse takes a little bit of getting used to, but overall it's also an added grip which is a bonus. The side buttons are a little raised which help me locate them by touch easier in game. As much as I like the design, I would be worried about dirt building up in it over time, and even any potential liquids getting into the wiring. According to Cooler Master, the majority of the components are sprayed with this water resistant coating that does protect it from any light spills, which is good to know. But not all the components are protected, so I'll do well to keep any liquids far from it. Going back to the RGB lights and keybinds, any alterations can be made within the new Master Plus app. As usual, you can customize the color right down to a specific shade, choosing from a list of various light patterns to better set the mood. Of course, there are options to change the functions of each button under the Buttons tab, even letting you disable the side buttons if you know you won't really use them. The best part is the ability to really get into the setup using the performance tab. Whether you want more or less sensitivity, a higher polling rate, or a better click speed, there's options for complete customization all in one place. Setting all of that aside though, I wanted to test its overall performance with the default settings in a few game titles. Playing a game like Splitgate, I was impressed with the fluidity of the movement. I could whip the camera around and catch opponents in brilliant time, Thanks to the brilliant glide on the desk, the overall lightweight nature of it, and the additional sensitivity enhancements. I can no longer blame my controls for slowing me down though, as the mouse just lets me play as fast as I'm able, letting me shoot on target better than before. Overall, this mouse does just as well as I expected with a little extra on the side. I love the design, even though it's a little out there, it takes me back to another time and really looks the part in my gamer setup. The fluidity is perfect for fast reaction games, 
and the connectivity is brilliant thanks to the long USB cable. When trying to fill the position in my arsenal for looking for a reliable intuitive gaming tool, this mouse fits the bill in the best way possible. So what are your thoughts on this Cooler Master MM711 retro gaming mouse? Let us know in the comments below and if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe to Box where we have plenty of hands-on reviews on the latest tech. And as always, thanks for watching.